So her story is a new movement, cultural movement, social movement, to tell the stories of forgotten women uh, from history and today. And we're going to tell their stories through multidisciplinary arts platforms, so music, theatre, dance, drama, fine art, photography, design, you name it, every discipline. So today I think it was all about kind of capturing the energy of the project and to give people I suppose a taste of what's to come. So Waking the Feminist is looking at some gender imbalance in Irish theatre and one of the things that we've shown and through some research we've conducted already is that while there's a lot more women working in Irish theatre, the higher up the scale you go um, in terms of the organisations that receive the most funding, the balance of work that is produced or written or presented by women gets reduced and we hear more male voices and we just think we're missing out on some incredible stories from female and Irish playwrights and directors in Ireland. Traditionally, people try and study people in the past through going to archives, libraries. People often write autobiographies or other people write biographies of them. And most of those people and most of those sources are about men. And not just any kind of men, actually a very particular kind of man, usually wealthy, uh, usually white. Uh, usually quite privileged, usually straight. And uh, women don't often fulfill the kind of category in which they would think of themselves as important even. So they haven't written their memoirs. They don't leave letters and diaries that people can study them. So when you go to traditional places that historians do, the National Archives, the National Library, you often just don't find those sources about women. But we do know that women did stuff, important stuff, uh, and that actually they do have a history all of their own. Her story approached me to be part of the launch and to bring in a scientific element to the stories that are being told here this evening. And there's a lot of women who are very active um, in, in Irish science in the last number of centuries, but we don't know their stories. And I think it's really important that we highlight them as part of our scientific heritage and as part of our national history as well. You'd expect a certain amount of inequity in science because women weren't um, even allowed to go to university until the start of the, the 20th century and even some universities in the UK didn't award women their degrees until the 1940s. So there are examples of women who, for example, went to study mathematics and were top of their class in Cambridge but weren't allowed to get a degree, somebody like Annie Maunder, who then went on and worked in the Royal Observatory but once she got married wasn't allowed work and so she continued publishing but had to publish her own, under her husband's name. So these women have played really important roles in establishing the knowledge that we have about the world around us but we just don't know who they were or their stories and I think it's really important to recognise that women have played an integral role in building up all of the knowledge that we have about the world around us and I think we should highlight these stories and kind of hold on to them and hold them up um, as really important, really positive role models for Irish women.